Hey y'all, how you doing? I wanted to show you, just got a new camera. Vixia HF G10 from Canon. I've been wanting something for a while, a little bit more than what I have. Uh, for you know, I've been using a little uh, Toshiba Camellia for shooting my home videos, which shoots great video, uh, you know, for a camera of its size. But I wanted something a little bit more than that. Um, something with a little bit higher quality video. Uh, we're about to go on a big trip out to Yellowstone early this summer. So I kind of wanted something a little bit more for that. And then also for hunting and things like that, I wanted something. I, I used my uh, Canon Rebel for my turkey hunt, but I wanted something a little bit more. It's, it's hard to, you, you can't really focus once you start shooting. I, I mean, you can, but it's kind of a process. It's kind of distracting from the video, trying to focus while it's filming and it doesn't auto focus. So I wanted something a little bit more. I got this. So far, I really like it. I got it Friday. I've been shooting with it this weekend. It's full HD, 1080. It has a pretty high speed uh, lens. It's a HD CMOS Pro, which comes down from their consumer line, or I'm sorry, from the Pro line. This here is, I guess, constitutes a, the Pro Sumer, quote unquote. Shoots on a SD XS, XC card, 1920 by 1080. So in the box, have the manual, which is really thick. Have these cords here for connecting to TVs, computers, power supply. HDMI cable, and then of course all the CDs and all that for instruction. I went ahead on our website and downloaded the PDF and that way I can carry it around on my iPad because this thing here is a little bit much you know, to be carrying around. And as you can see from the size of the manual, I'm not going to get into everything that this camera does. I'm just going to kind of highlight the, the, the big points. There's a lot to this camera. It has a lot of features. One of the first things I notice is the size of the screen here. I think it's it's pretty awesome. It's huge. And it is touch screen. I actually have the lens on now. It comes with the camera lens. It's not the type that you press a button or it comes on automatically. You actually have to take the lens cover off. It is touch screen. Okay, right now I have it on automatic, and one thing that you see here with the focus, right here, auto, when you go further away, if you were to get really close, like on this table, it automatically switches to macro. It's got a great zoom on it. It's got the hand, you know, the uh, stabilization, everything. This this has tons and tons of features. I you know I couldn't possibly go over them all. So I would recommend going to their website to check. You know, if you have any specific questions about features and stuff like that, uh, go there, uh, check that out. Now, as far as what it's powered by, it has a slot here. It has an internal drive, which is. 32 gigabytes then it has a slot for two cards 64 gigabytes each so on the highest of resolutions each one of these cards shoots I believe 2.5 hours or three hours I think each card the highest resolution three hours for each card and the cool thing is you can set this so that it shoots for example if you start shooting on your hard drive when that fills, it'll automatically go to the next card, and then it'll automatically go to the next card. You can either do it like that, or if you want some sort of card backup, you can do it so that it'll film both cards at the same time. So you're kind of getting an automatic backup. It has a shoehorn here for an external mic, um, lights, flashes, whatever. Here's the focus. 
It has an automatic mode, which I'm in now. It has a manual mode, and then it also has a cinema mode, which gives it a Hollywood type look. It's got two microphones. Here's the manual focus. And then here we have the uh, uh, lens, I uh, can't, uh, can't think of what it's called. Anyway, uh, looking at the size of this lens, it's huge compared to most camera lenses, which allows it to shoot in low light, which is something I was definitely looking at when I chose it since most hunting happens at night. Or, excuse me, not at night, but at dawn and dusk. Huge lens. Lens hood. That's what it is. Couldn't think of it. Uh, here's the button here. It also has two buttons here. This switches from autofocus to manual focus. This here is like when you press this down, it's an, a little bit extra stabilization. Or you can assign these two buttons to something else also. And one thing that's kind of neat, and I haven't used it yet, but I was kind of looking through it. It's got a couple different story modes. So like, for example, one of them is vacation. So then it walks you through. There's like 15 to 20 different things you can shoot. For example, of travel. Uh, it's getting ready, interviews with people before you leave, et cetera, et cetera. And it walks you through each one and then you check them off as you shoot video for that. And you could shoot them in any order and then it puts it all together for you. They have one for kids and pets. They have several different story modes. And I think that's kind of a neat feature. And you can use that. You can program this button for that. So if you press this button, you'll go into story mode. Here is the component out slot. Here is the remote and HDMI. Um, you need to hook up a remote here, which some people use, uh, I've seen them use in, in hunting. I've seen them when they have it on an arm stand or mounted to the tree. They have this remote so you can do all that without moving your hands to the camera. Now this does come with a wireless remote control also, which I, I left in my office. I forgot to bring it out here. Um, here's for the tripod. Here's the battery. This is the battery it ships with. Now let me show you something really cool. These batteries, to get the, the long lasting batteries, because if I remember correctly, this one here only lasts like an hour or two. To get the long lasting batteries from Canon, they're 80 bucks a piece. I found online this company, Wasabi Power, made out of Japan, got extremely high ratings on Amazon. You can actually get two of the high powered batteries and a charger and a car charger and the European conversion thing here for $40 or 42, 41, somewhere around in there. So that's a really good deal. They have really high ratings. This is a Japanese company. I believe, I believe this stuff is still made in China, but it is a Japanese company and they got really high ratings and, and a lot of people rated them, said they're just as good if not better than the actual Canon battery packs. So that's something to look into. Um, and, and for anything else, if you have any other cameras, you, you know, to get a good price, you might want to check out this Wasabi Power. That's what I've been using so far, and so far it seems pretty good. This here is how you mount the battery, and this is the Wasabi Power, the extended battery. So it does stick out past the eyepiece, but it's not a big deal. Most people don't use the eyepiece. Now, if you do want to use the eyepiece, you simply pull it out, and then you can film with this door shut, um, film through here. Which might be good if you're filming wildlife, so you don't have this bright light on. But as you can see, you can still use it even with this battery pack here. Some people online in the reviews complained that you couldn't. A couple of reviews said that they felt this was kind of cheap plastic. I don't think so at all. I, I thought it felt pretty nice, pretty durable. No different than my Rebel camera. So I would give it a high ratings. I haven't had a chance to look at a lot of the video. The video I've shot so far looks to be really good. And the theory behind this camera I guess, and I didn't realize this, but I guess a lot of video cameras shoot at a higher resolution than they need to, higher than the 1080p. This one here shoots exactly at 1080p. And the reason they did that is they felt the higher you go, the worse the low light shooting becomes. So, the tr so with this one, it shoots exactly at 1080p, but the, it allows you for better night shooting or low light shooting. And like I said, that is definitely something I wanted. So that's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Um, like I said, 
Any technical questions, I mean, you know, feel free to ask me, but you might want to check out at your website, at the Canon website, if you have anything specific. It is, once again, it's the Canon Vixia HFG10. Semper Fi.